hi friends welcome to my channel and uh, friends uh, in this video i'm going to show you how we can uh, patch up the ubuntu 20.04 lts version okay so in this uh, video i'm going to instruct you uh, how we are doing the patching of the ubuntu server okay that is uh, currently i'm taking ubuntu 20.04 lts version as you can see here okay and this server is running on the azure okay so in this video just i am going to guide you exactly how we are doing the patches and what are the uh, condition there okay one is normal general patching means we are not uh, caring about that uh, any any include or exclude we are not going to do we are doing the general patching things means all the packages we are going to upgrade okay so that is general sometimes we have to exclude some packages okay so that one also i'm going to uh, discuss in this video and also uh, one more things i'm going to discuss guys in this video that teach uh, uh, means exactly how we can uh, upgrade a specific uh, package okay and uh, at the end i'm going to clean uh, unnecessary uh, spaces which consumed by the package which downloaded okay during the upgradation or older version of the package okay so uh, these things we are going to follow so i have written all the step here i'm going to execute one by one all the commands and i'm also i'm going to explain all the things okay so let's uh, start and uh, guys before uh, starting these things uh, if you like please uh, subscribe my channel okay and i'm not going to uh, request too much things but yeah i'm just requesting you guys uh, please support and uh, also please like share and subscribe this channel okay and let's uh, start the things okay so just uh, go to the terminal okay okay guys so just uh, i'm going the terminal just copy the public ip of the server so this is the server ip okay just put that ip in putty and just open accept it pass the username and pass the password So guys as we can see we have successfully logged in inside the server now just uh, just i am increasing the font so we can see it easily okay just i am giving 14 or 16 it's okay no problem i am giving 16 so okay so first command uh, as we can see here in this list that is sudo apt update so generally uh, what does this command exactly it's going to update your local cache url or uh, and uh, repository url it's going to fetch and validate that okay so it's going to validate with the repository okay so it's going on okay next command we are going to uh, perform that is after performing this command itself here it's a saying you can see right 20 packages can be upgraded so how we can check it this one to given that command so just perform this command it, it's going to list out all the packages which need to be update upgradable this these are the packages uh, i'm just making little bit uh, uh, a small because uh, listing it's not coming appropriate so just i am making it uh, 40 okay now we can see the list right so all these 20 packages there so which we have to update okay all this package upgradable from this to this here the version it's written okay so how we can do it so it's saying from this to this 
package is available as you can see upgradable from this to this as you can see in right 2.7 so uh, so how we can do this so for that either we can do directly okay using this command sudo apt upgrade but more thing I want to show you guys here before doing this one more case I want to discuss the case is very uh, simple suppose in this case we are going to upgrade all the package but we don't want to upgrade uh, kernel or some important package which is going to interrupt our system or application so in that case what we can do we can uh, hold that package okay simply hold that package means here I'm just taking for the example it's depend upon you guys you just uh, uh, find out exactly what package is important or what package you don't want to install inside the system okay so sometime kernel version we don't want to upgrade or something like that so it's depend upon the scenario okay so here just I'm taking system D I don't want to upgrade okay so so what I'm going to do I'm going to mark it at hold okay how we can do as we can see command is sudo sudo apt hyphen mark hold okay system d and just perform this command i'm just cleaning okay and just put it so what happened this command went for hold it's not going to fetch in next uh, up even before this command apt list upgradable it's listing here okay but the things when we are going to upgrade it's not going to install or it's not going to upgrade the things how we will see we will check it later okay so uh, let's uh, here here is the command by which we can see the uh, what the package what are the packages on hold so let's see let's see so it, it will list the system D okay next things we can uh, next thing suppose uh, here the things is coming like when we are listing okay upgradable okay right in this condition uh, so many packages is coming suppose I just want to upgrade this git okay I just want to upgrade this git version how we can do for that actually what you can do uh, here is the command as we can see sudo apt hyphen hyphen only hyphen upgrade install git so I'm just going to fire this command okay guys if you have any doubt please comment in the uh, video okay in comment section so I can clarify your uh, doubt on this point okay so I'm uh, installing and upgrading the things only the git version okay so done now if I do if upgradable list if I, you will see the git is not coming so git is upgraded okay git is not coming means single package is upgraded okay so uh, how we can will edit that I think we can do No, it's, uh, it's not necessary guys okay uh, forget about these things okay but the things is we have upgraded the git okay now let, let, let's uh, do the things next what now finally I'm going to upgrade okay if for upgrading all the things at one command I'm going to put this command sudo apt upgrade it's going to install all the upgradation okay so let's do it just make it y and it's, it's going to install all the package which require to upgrade so guys done now uh, all the packages are upgraded 
now the thing is when we do this command uh, not this this one upgradable things okay I still it's a showing some package is not upgraded reason behind it guys because we hold the system d package if you remember using this command so whatever the package is related to system d it's not going to upgrade now if we want to upgrade this package also what we need to do we have to uh, put it in unhold state how we can do copy this command and paste this sudo apt hyphen mark unhold system d okay so uh, before performing this command guys uh, let let me show you exactly uh, last time we have seen like uh, right so hold so as we can see system d package it's showing on or on hold right now uh, now the current command i am going to perform that is command is unholding so just i am putting unhold on uh, for the system d command okay system d now cancelled hold on system d now if we do upgrade okay again it's going to install all the as you can see so it's going to install system d related packages also it's done now just put that command again Not this that is upgradable hyphen ft list hyphen hyphen upgradable so as you can see everything done nothing is on hold every package is installed everything is done so that is the patching things now after patching so many packages downloaded because here it's only 20 uh, but in generally lot of package is coming for upgrade okay if you install some package or uh, application anything so in that condition it's consuming some space so for removing that we can perform this command it's going to remove unnecessary spaces okay and the next command is it's going to clean all the things okay so everything is done here it's not present any data but yeah in general it's, it it should be present some some data okay if you upgraded previously but you didn't perform this command then some package archival all these things present so if you perform this command it's going to uh, release some spaces okay so that was that's all guys in this video and uh, i have explained uh, all the things regarding to upgradation part 4012 20.04 LTS and one one two more things guys whenever you are going to upgrade the things okay please make some backup if possible ha you have to backup plan okay whenever you are going to uh, do some major changes or some patching any anything you just take some backup it's good but first time only i am saying if it is uh, because on uh, cloud or any any cloud based infrastructure is there they uh, most probably they have some backup okay like a snapshot vm backup all these things they have so according to that you proceed okay not randomly you go on and uh, perform all this command and later you, you find out like my application is not running or application so many so many problems so many dependencies there so always remember you have you should uh, pass the things which necessary part okay so guys uh, in this video that's all for uh, in next video uh, i'm planning to show you exactly how we can do in some some cases what happened guys in some cases we are just patching the security security things we are doing okay we, we are going to patch all the security related package other, other things we are not uh, going to install or upgrade anything on the system so how will uh, how we will 
how we can do the security patches so that is one of the important uh, things and uh, uh, i will make a video on that separately okay so thank you thank you for watching guys and uh, please like share and subscribe and uh, that's all guys thank you